Human enhancement technologies are being researched into ways in which we can change the very nature of us as humans, and this has important impacts on soldiers and the ways in which we fight wars. As examples of technologies that are being researched at the moment, exoskeletons and prosthetics. These involve adding mechanical means or new limbs to amputees and others to increase their strength and endurance, such as the tactical assault light operator suit. We have cognitive enhancements. These involve pharmaceuticals, brain stimulation, electronic brain stimulation and other means to reduce the need for sleep and increase the capacity to operate under stress. There's also some interest in changing nutrition and eating. Some of the more extreme examples of this are changing someone's stomach so that they can digest cellulose, which means that soldiers can eat grass. In terms of enhancement and ethics, there's been a lot of ethical interest in enhancement for a while. Uh, some of the, the general concerns that people have around enhancement are changing our very nature as humans. If we enhance ourselves such that we're no longer the same as we are now, are we still human? This has an important potential impact in terms of warfare and military practice, because if our enemies see us as no longer human, then they might be treating us quite differently. For instance, if you see someone in an exoskeleton coming to attack you, you might not think of them as human and you might not afford them the, the normal concern that one gives to a, a soldier in, in war. Another set of concerns come from informed consent where we worry about whether the subject of, a, of research or the receiver of enhancement can effectively give consent to this. This is particularly interesting or relevant in the military context because militaries have hierarchical command structures and soldiers are told to follow commands quite often uh, without the need to question those commands. Another more important or more relevant set of concerns around enhancement in the military context build off the notion of uh, enhancing someone's cognition and then their capacity to follow the laws of armed conflict. Because if you change the way someone thinks, this can also change the way in which they follow, or well, how they follow the laws of armed conflict, and this is of course quite important. If we look at the history of enhancement, it goes back a long way. Uh, the use of nutrition and training to increase the capacity to win a war. More recently, we can see the use of amphetamines uh, during World War II and after that to give soldiers the capacity to fight you know, days on end, for pilots to fly long flights. The final thing to say is this is not necessarily a new concern. We've got worries about the way in which soldiers are treated generally, humanitarian concerns about soldiers and civilians. What these new enhancement technologies do is shine a new light on these existing concerns and also force us to think about the ways in which we use new technologies and the research conducted around them.